Hey you guys, it's Kanisha here. So here's part two to my rant that I went on yesterday. I got up, I got ready today, I got my makeup on, I was ready for it to go. And I began to think about some of the things that I used to do when I was an employee. And one of the things that I did as an employee is I never took excuses. I was a childcare provider and I started out in a two-year-old class and I ended up moving up to being an assistant director of a daycare of a corporate chain before I quit. And they would tell me everything. Oh, my kid is sick. I wouldn't do this. I can't come in today. My car is broken. All those type of things that come with being in management. But it kind of piggybacks off what I said yesterday about are you working as hard for your business as you would for someone else's business? Well, part two to that is the excuses that you're giving yourself on why you can't work your business, would you give that to your employer? Things that we don't even think about that we consciously do, we do. Like we fight traffic to get to work and you want to be punctual and be there on time. So you leave an hour earlier. And if you are two minutes late, the first thing you say when you come in is, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm late. We all done it. I put my hand up. I do it. But when we get home and dinner is not ready at six o'clock when our husband gets home, we don't feel bad about that. Why is it that we treat everyone in our families and in our lives worse than we treat someone else? This is a life lesson video today. It has nothing to even do with um, makeup. This has everything to do with you because I want you to be the complete woman. And I want you to be independent within yourself and stand on your own, be balanced, and be happy. So I really want you to think about that. The excuses that you would normally give an employer, why are you giving them to yourself? Would you give them to yourself? Would you give the same excuses to your employer? And are you treating your loved ones the same way you would treat a stranger on the street? Do you used to do date nights and you don't anymore? Did you used to do self-care and you don't anymore? Dig deep to figure out why and what is your core being. Because until you know why you do something, you're never going to be able to fulfill it. One of the things that my upline told me the other day and it just struck me is we all have a thing in our mind that we think about for ourselves. And we think about where we are. But we're always working to prove that thing right. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I suck. This isn't going to last forever. My life sucks. I suck. And you know what you do? Everything that you do from this point on to get to your big goal, let's say your goal is to make $2,000 a month. Everything that you have to do, blitzing, following up, being consistent, all of those things, you will self-sabotage doing because you're proving yourself right that I can't. I can't do this. You're looking for ways to prove that little voice in your head correct. Don't do that. Don't set yourself short. I want you to be successful, but I can't want it more than you do. You got to work your business. You got to live your life. Write down your goals. Know why you're doing this. Improve every day to prove that little voice wrong. Have a good night, you guys.